Good morning, Catawba Ridge. It's time for your copper heads up. It's a Monday here at the Ridge, and while I might be feeling a little sluggish after the weekend, for seniors like me, there's only 29 days left. Hang in there. <laughs> Interested in cheering on our copper heads under those Friday night lights? Well, there will be an interest meeting held tonight at 6 p.m. in the Ox Gym with all the information you need to know about tryouts. Now, over the weekend, our sports teams were busy competing, and I'm here to give you a full recap of what happened. Our soccer teams were both able to strike out a win against Indian Land on Friday, with the girls winning 1-0 and the boys winning 6-0. Our Copperhead baseball team dominated Lancaster 12-1, while our softball team lost a close one 7-10. And the track and field boys placed first with a score of 92.5, the girls came in 10th with a score of 22. Now, another team hosting trials tonight is Color Guard. If you don't know what it is, here's Michaela with more. In a normal year, our Winter Guard team would be competing in a local competition and then traveling to Ohio for finals in April. This season, however, the team is having to film their performance right here in our gym for judges to score. Usually there'd be 50 to 70 performances on a Saturday and we'd all be competing against each other in person but this year everything is we send in a video and then the judges watch it and um, then they give us a score from there. In between each filming the team meets with the coach to decide what needs to be changed before submitting the film for evaluation again. We've added a, some extra movement in there especially we had some dead spots in the show where there was nothing really going on and we've made sure we filled it all in so that it all connected seamlessly from the beginning to the end. Obviously, the little changes they made to the team have made a big impact in the competition because they continue to advance in the semifinals. I, I had a hunch by the end of January that they were going to be really good and, and we were going to make it to semifinals at least. They were, they're just a really hardworking and strong group of, of ladies. Preparing for the performance is almost as important as the performance itself. You do your hair and makeup, um, and after that, you pretty much get dressed in your costumes, and you have a little ritual before you start, and pump each other up and make sure that everyone's um, confident and ready to perform. It's a cool activity. Like, if you want to get into something and be in school spirit, you can join Color Guard. A lot of people don't really know about it. It's actually fun. According to the coach, one of their goals for next season is to grow the program. Our biggest thing is just growing the numbers, so if anybody's interested in the high school and joining, come out to auditions. If you're interested at all, if you like dance, if you want to learn how to spin, then we're the place for you. It's a great group. For Sierra and TV, I'm Michaela Huerta. Thanks, Michaela. Now remember, trials are tonight, tomorrow, and Thursday. Now, that's all I have for you today on this Monday, but I'll be back here with you bright and early all week. CRN TV, I'm Peyton Newell.